Hi, my name is Sally, and as you can probably tell I'm an avatar. I work for Pat and Warner, and they run Warner's Tree Surgery. Warner has been treating sick trees for over 50 years, and Pat has been answering the phone, talking to the customers, and lining up work, and basically doing everything else that needs to be done. Warner is making a series of videos that hopefully contain all the things he's learned about trees over the last 50 years. This is the first one. It's about the danger the ash fly poses to monks pepper trees. If you would like to help us, get the word out to other people, this would be a good time to like this video and subscribe to our channel, thank you. Over 40 years ago California, Arizona and New Mexico instituted a program to get rid of the ash fly, because it was so destructive, to trees and commercial crops. The ash fly basically gets in anything with the leaf and this tiny insect can completely defoliate at least 40 species of trees. The ash white fly has a 60-day lifespan, but for 55 days it's an aphid-like creature that is too small to see with the naked eye, the adult winged insects are just barely visible. In the past California, Arizona, and New Mexico were successful in eradicating this pest with a combination of poisoning neighborhoods, crops, and orchards, and importing the ash fly's natural predator a very small wasp, but at this time as far as I know, nothing is being done about them. It's hard to see the ash fly on monks pepper trees unless you know what you're looking for, in the past aphids would infest monks pepper trees leaves, and if you touch them, they would feel sticky, well the ash fly does the same thing. So, if your monks pepper trees leaves are sticky and you live in Maricopa County Arizona, you probably have the ash fly. The difference between the ash fly and the aphids is the ash fly will turn the monk's pepper leaves white, and if you know what you're looking for, before that happens, the top leaves of the monk's pepper tree will look a little weird. So, if you see your neighbor's trees with a few of their branches turning white, this is probably caused by a boring insect that's went completely around a particular branch or it's caused by the ash fly. In order to control the ash fly you need to poison the trees. You also need to start fertilizing your trees on a regular basis. I'm going to tell you which poison to use in a minute, but first you need to understand that the poison I recommend has nitrogen in it, and too much nitrogen is bad for trees. So, you need to put the poison down, and then six months later you get a good general purpose fertilizer, and you treat the trees with it. If you live anywhere within 30 miles of Mesa, Arizona, you need to get Warner out to treat your trees with something that will kickstart their immune system. You see every cell of every plant has enzymes that dissolve fungus, bacteria, and viruses, and because the ash fly has been in your trees those enzymes have been depleted. So, Warner needs to inject medicines into the tree that will kickstart the healing process right away. You can protect your trees by treating them with bio-advanced tree and shrub, which you can get at Home Depot. This is a terrible poison, is so bad it was taken off the market for professionals to use, but thanks to some sneaky politicians, it was grandfathered in, so a 10-year-old kid can walk in and buy all he wants. Anyway, if you know it's toxic, you'll be fine, just don't go sticking your hands in it and licking your fingers. If you're careful, and a little bit afraid, it's safe to use. If you use the liquid, you pour the amount you need in a bucket with water, and you put the water down close to the base of the tree, and then you water it in, if you use the powder, you put the powder down close to the base of the tree and then you water it with a sprinkler. If a little dog licks it up before it's dry, it will kill the little dog. So, make sure animals and children are kept away from it until it's dry. You only need to put it down once a year and in three years, if you do it yearly, you will not only get rid of the ash fly but it will also get rid of all the boring insects in a tree. There's one more thing I need to tell you, every place in the world where it rains the water falls off of the trees at the drip line, and because that's where the water falls that's where the roots, that pick up the micronutrients develop, and all the instructions you get for the fertilizers, tell you to put the fertilizer out at the drip line. In Maricopa County, Arizona, the roots have developed where the tree has been getting water all its life, and that's where you need to put the fertilizer. So, just ignore the instructions, and do it the way I just told you. Also, while we're on the subject, our garages and sheds get 140 degrees in the summertime, this damages the fertilizer, so you need to keep the fertilizer, someplace cool in the summer, 
and if you've got fertilizer that's been in the garage or shed in the summertime, you need to get rid of it. Well, that's about it, I hope this helps you with your trees, please subscribe to this channel and hit like, and if you live within 30 miles of Mesa, Arizona and you want Warner to come out and look at your trees, just give us a call, the number is 480-969-8808, thanks and goodbye.